there's only been one case of West Nile virus. So uh, we're very happy about that. The drought is bad for a lot of people. It was also bad for mosquitoes as far as their livelihood went, but um, for us it was good. And uh, it's easy because I have a flat budget for this year and for next year also. Thanks to the three-year contract. Thank you, Mr. Bean, for yes, approving that, mentioning it. So if there aren't any questions, uh, we may have some money coming back to you. Our last bill should be coming in pretty soon from Dragon Mosquito Control. Any questions? No questions, and I appreciate the service you provide. <laughs> it's true yeah. the town does. <laughs> And the service we provide is great, and people have to realize that it's, it's not only getting the, the inconvenience of getting bitten by a mosquito, but disease and everything else. So, I mean, it, it, is, it is a huge yeah. undertaking and a very, very important department that we have in our, in our town, and, and you're doing a great job at it. Well, mosquito control was started when mosquitoes were a nuisance. Now it's even more important, as you say, because of the health risks. They're no longer just a nuisance. And it's up to individuals. We can't do, we can't eliminate mosquitoes. We try to control them, but it's up to the individual property owners to make sure that they don't have any breeding sites on their property. And it's up to the individuals to take care of themselves for responsibility. Lock sleeves, sprays, all of that. Go. Oh. Yeah, just, uh, uh, and thank you so much on behalf of the entire uh, community and uh, adjacent towns and, and the people in the seacoast, the That's tourists, true. everybody, uh, a remarkable, remarkable job, and thank you very much. You're welcome. And, and speaking of adjacent towns, we're one of the few that does adult deciding around here, so. Uh, just, I just, and how many uh, years have you been doing this now with the committee? <laughs> Don't ask too many. <laughs> well, yeah. it's really amazing that you're still doing it, and you're doing it better than ever. Thank you. Now, does Mosquito Control also do the green head boxes? Yes. They do. I noticed we had a number of new ones this year. Right, and that's within the contract for the next three years. They're going to be building 25 new ones every year. And that is for the price that they charge for putting those boxes out on the marsh and bringing them in again. I mean, those things are awkward. They're heavy and storing them. We have a tent that we bought in 2006, which is on its last legs, but <clears throat> as commissioners, we went down there and propped it up and patched it up, and uh, it's holding its own for another year, but we may be coming in for new protection for those greenhead fly traps that are being stored there. Yes, so. And we've talked to uh, the town manager and uh, uh, Chris from DPW as far as trying to find something as a more permanent structure, but it's very difficult because of the number of traps we have and the size of those traps storing them. Okay. Very good. Thanks again, Anne. You're welcome.